Good evening, friends. I am Ravindra Srinivasa from SRAA Media Bangalore. I have with me Dr. Srivani Karnow from Hyderabad. She is a gynecologist and an expert in solving and giving solution to PCOS problems. Come, let us welcome Dr. Srivani to our knowledge sharing program. Good evening, doctor. Welcome to the program. Good evening. Thank you so much. Uh, after seeing uh, our uh, two sessions uh, with respect to PCOS, a uh, few of uh, our audience have sent me few questions. I would like to ask uh, those questions with you, doctor. I have noted down actually. Shall I read it? Uh? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. <clears throat> uh, first thing is we were talking about uh, insulin resistance. Yeah. So uh, our first question is what is insulin resistance? Okay. Then uh, signs and uh, symptoms of insulin resistance. Okay. First I will explain about insulin resistance. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then you can ask uh, another question. No. Okay. Okay, doctor. Uh, so. Uh, before understanding insulin resistance, first let us understand what is insulin sensitivity. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it is the ability of our body to respond to the insulin hormone. Okay, so okay. insulin, basically, uh, some of you might not be knowing insulin, what is insulin also. So insulin is a hormone secreted by our pancreas. Okay. Uh, so, actually, it has various functions. Most important one is regularization of blood sugar levels. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so, like if you want to uh, explain about, uh, if I want to explain about insulin resistance, I just wanted to share my screen. Okay? Yes. Yes, doctor. Yeah, so can you see my screen? Yes, I'm seeing it. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a structure of a cell. Okay. Our body is made up of many such cells. For example, you can think it as a muscle cell or a fat cell. Okay. And is this is this is a blood cell? No. No, no, no. Not a blood cell. Uh, you can think as a muscle cell. Muscle cell, okay. Ah, muscle cell or fat cell also. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, this is a, a receptor of insulin. These are the insulin receptors. Okay. And this is insulin hormone. Okay. So, when this uh, insulin hormone acts on this receptor, it undergoes some change and allows glucose to enter the cell. Okay. 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 So, this is a normal functioning of the uh, hormone so that glucose levels will be normal whenever we oh. get to do a blood test. Okay. So, in insulin resistance, these receptors don't function properly. It has various reasons. So, these don't function properly and it cannot allow glucose to enter the cell in a normal way. So, glucose mm -hmm. levels increase in the blood. When glucose levels increase in the blood, that signals our pancreas to secrete more and more amount of insulin to push glucose into the cell. Mm. That high levels of insulin associated with the uh, uh, improper functioning of these insulin uh, receptors is called insulin resistance. Okay. Okay, so that is the uh, about insulin resistance. So what is problem with insulin resistance? What happens if insulin resistance is there? Mm. Uh, so it is before, that... It is, before that, uh, you have mentioned uh, insulin sensitivity yeah uh, please elaborate it what is that yeah it is uh, the response of the receptors is good when the response of the uh, re receptors to the insulin hormone is good mm -hmm. that is called insulin sensitivity we are sensitive basically we will be all will be sensitive to insulin Okay. when these receptors don't function properly when the fat accumulates in the cell these receptors don't function properly. Just okay. like when a 
chewing gum when we place the chewing gum in a lock mm. the tea cannot function properly and cannot open the lock properly similarly mm. when fat accumulates in the mm. cell these uh, uh, insulin hormone which acts as a key and receptor acts as a lock and this cannot open the lock properly so that is called insulin resistance okay it functions properly we are sensitive we are good we are normal so when only when fat accumulates and many other reasons are also there like um, when we are stressed stress levels are more the stress hormones also come and block here and also uh, impairs the functioning of the insulin hormone mm -hmm. milk products also act in the same way milk and milk products they increase the igf like molecules and they act on this uh, receptors and impairs the functioning of the receptor okay so there are various reasons and i wanted to tell you one more thing here this is the mitochondria mm. that means powerhouse of the cell we feel energetic because of these mitochondria so when the cell is accumulated with the fat the place for mitochondria reduces so we will be feeling more uh, weak and tired actually okay okay, okay? Yeah. so because uh, what's wrong with this insulin resistance is uh, if it is there for long period of time we land up in diabetes initially it is good it is controlling sugars but later the it uh, may not uh, control the sugars and we land up in diabetes okay and there are other uh, complications also like uh, high levels of insulin in the body may cause inflammation in the body uh oh. so long term inflammation leads to heart diseases uh, like heart blocks and sudden heart attacks also then like face mm -hmm. then is that is, is also result in uh, rheumatoid arthritis yeah means inflammation basically uh, okay. sometimes so some people are susceptible to some kind of uh, diseases so for those who are susceptible to, to this rheumatoid arthritis kind of thing maybe they will land up in that okay okay doctor and obesity obesity uh, long term insulin resistance uh, there will be uh, nowadays obesity has become so common right so first they yeah. become obese then they become diabetic oh. in females if we see insulin resistance causes high testosterone levels Mm -hmm. it causes uh, symptoms of uh, pcos like uh, acne hair fall hirsutism like excess unwanted hair on the face and uh, body like that okay yeah so now let us uh, understand what are the signs and uh, symptoms yeah. of insulin resistance okay. as you said uh, uh, it, it, you are you are mentioning about the uh, symptoms in women like acne yeah uh, yeah hmm. uh, thing uh, like hmm. what about the men yeah. they do they do got uh, insulin resistance what are the signs and symptoms which will appear in men yes so basically insulin resistance may be asymptomatic they may not have any symptoms also surprising yeah. like uh, you know even diabetes they don't have any symptoms until they find in a randomly they will be doing blood test suddenly they will see they are having a uh, diabetes so oh. sometimes in some cases they may not be having any symptoms also but uh, if we see for signs uh, uh, they will be gaining weight gradually suddenly they will start uh, gaining weight abdominal fat increases mm. neck becomes black okay yeah and they will feel low energy levels also tired energy after we after eating they feel like sleeping they don't have energy levels and okay. uh, when they check blood uh, blood pressure bp also increases uh, it will be more than 130 by 80 initially okay and if they do blood tests uh, lipid profile like cholesterol ldl cholesterol which is a good cholesterol will be high <clears throat> hdl cholesterol which is a bad cholesterol it will be low and triglycerides will be high so even before they are landing up in diabetes all these signs they can be it can be seen okay yeah and in females uh, these uh, as i said uh, these signs will be there acne exacerbation of acne uh, hair unwanted hair and uh, during our conversation i understood that uh, 
this insulin resistance is also contributing uh, problems of PCOS. It triggers the PCOS problem in women. If insulin resistance is there with men, so like PCOS in women, what problem would be arise in men? Diabetes, hypertension. Okay. Diabetes and hypertension. Normally, diabetes, hypertension. Okay. So these are all the two major threat. Yes. Which will be triggered because of the insulin resistance. Yeah. Okay. We can take obesity also in this. Uh, obesity. Okay. Yeah, it is also considered as a disease. Hmm. All are, I think, uh, cousins. Yeah. <laughs> one, one other will catch up. And then uh, we would like to know <clears throat> what are the causes of uh, insulin resistance? Why, why it causes? Oh. Why, why it becomes either uh, in women and men? Is it common factor contributing for uh, uh, insulin resistance or it differs from men to women? Uh, most of the times it is common only. Okay. Okay. Uh, so I can classify into five reasons. Okay. To be easily understood. Uh, one is food. Uh, like, uh, like changes in like um, wrong, wrong eating habits and wrong eating timings. Not only eating habits, but eating timings is also important. Okay. Late night eating causes increase uh, inflammation increases and insulin resistance increases. Okay. Okay. First one. Second one. Uh, physical lack of physical activity, like sedentary lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Third one is sleep. Improper sleep timings, quality of sleep. Okay. 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 Fourth one is micronutrient deficiency. Like if we do a blood test, many yeah. nutrients are less like vitamin D, B12, iron, these are less. So uh, proper nutrients uh, are important for proper functioning of those receptors as well as functioning of all organs of our body, including pancreas, liver and all organs. So how to increase this uh, micronutrients in uh, blood? Yeah, we have to check them and take the supplements. And most of the time, it will be the function of our gut health, gut bacteria. Okay. So having a good fiber in our diet, eating healthy can improve our gut bacteria and the vitamins can be maintained after you are replenishing the stores. Okay. So that means to say one has to maintain good food habit, yeah. fiber food habit, yeah. timely food habit, yeah. timely sleeping, yeah. And uh, proper physical exercise. Yes. One can do yoga or exercise or even any sports can contribute to yeah, yeah. good health. Okay, those are all three factors. And the fourth. I told four. Last one is stress. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so stress, stress also contributes uh, in getting the insulin resistance. Okay. So generally, uh, my question is, uh, a lot of people used to ask, uh, how to maintain good gut health? Because we, we need good... fiber, fiber rich diet. Include okay. uh, at least six cups of uh, plant-based foods. Morning. Six. Okay. Yeah, six balls of plant-based foods, uh, raw vegetables or uh, steamed vegetables. And uh, so in breakfast, lunch and dinner, include... Uh, uh, two to balls of plant based foods. Uh, even include sprouts also, which is also very good mm. for breakfast. So, six cups of uh, fiber food in whole day. Yes. From morning to night, one has to consume fiber, plant based plant fiber -based food in their daily uh, diet. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my next question would be how to reduce this uh, insulin resistance? Yeah, how so to control, how to regulate, and how to become normal naturally without any medications. Yeah. So, uh, actually, it is a very tough job because our environment is more powerful than our commitment. So, even if we may think we need to eat healthy, we need to exercise every day, we will be uh, thinking of that, but 
uh, it may not be possible because of the situations around you so you may uh, your family members may not be supporting that you have will have various parties and functions so uh, basically that is the trick to add uh, six cups of vegetables than to avoid uh, the other foods i'm not uh, saying to avoid that don't eat this don't eat that i'm saying to include these uh, fiber rich foods it's uh, inclusion so inclusion of fiber rich food is compulsory yeah and uh, eating uh, and drinking of other foods and beverages is only optional yeah so if you do that that is that will be more great but okay. once you include these the quantity of consuming them will be less reduced that mm -hmm. can be a kind of trick okay okay yeah. that is coming to food and timings also i told no you have to finish your dinner before 9 pm okay maximum if you finish it before 7 pm that is very good actually you will improve like anything you are uh, means you will lose weight your abdominal fat reduces it is very good insulin resistance reduces but maximum before 9 pm at least you have to finish your dinner okay so is, uh, with the uh, food habit and uh, in order to understand generally we 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 uh, most of us uh, understood that uh, Eight hours of sleep is required for an adult. Hmm. Is it correct? Correct. Okay. Absolutely, it is right. And uh, coming to sleep, you have to go to sleep before 11 p.m. Again, this is maximum. So, okay. within... So, mandatory time is one has to go to bed before 11. Before I mean, 11. get to sleep. I mean, get to sleep in before 11. Yeah, you should go to sleep by 11. You should okay. go to bed by 10 or 10.30. And should uh, sleep by 11. Okay. If it is earlier, even better. If you go to bed by 9 or 9.30 and it is very good. But maximum, I'm saying. So nowadays, uh, Netflix has uh, become so common. Uh, watching movies and uh, social media. That has the, that is uh, spoiling the health, actually. <laughs> Most of the people used to see all these uh, social media apps, uh, movie, yeah. television. Late night movie show, late night uh, serials and all those stuff. So one has to take care of their health and quit these uh, habits. So according to you, doctor, what is good habit of sleeping? For example, a person go to bed by 9, 9.30. What kind of uh, activity one has to do, like meditation or what, uh, yeah. what, what do you prefer? Yes. Uh, so after dinner, actually from sunset only, we should be like calming down like our idea should be towards going to sleep only we should mm. not do vigorous activities and all so mm. dimming of lights uh, even our uh, lights in the home oh. that can be all replaced by orange lights and orange light is good yeah okay blue light can be replaced by orange lights okay okay uh, then yeah, reading nice book, your hobbies, working on your ha hobbies rather than uh, your job work and all the tensions. Your habit you can work on. Ho household works you can do. Avoiding the blue blue light screens and all you can avoid and do some household work. Um, that way, and your bedroom should be dark. Even a little bit of light also should not be there. Are uh, uh, any any reading and uh, books or writing habits are uh, listening to music or doing some meditation is it okay yeah 100 percent before going to bed if you do for 10 minutes uh, breathwork meditation it will be very good otherwise you can uh, listen to any guided meditations also will be there so for good sleep that also you can listen it's very good sometimes uh, taking hot water bath hot or warm water bath before bed then that is also very good so taking the hot water bath before going to bed is good yeah, it is good. And some people is having the habit of drinking uh, 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 milk or drinking coffee. Okay. Tea. What, what, what is your suggestion? Not coffee tea, definitely. Not okay. coffee and tea because caffeine disturbs sleep. Okay. Uh, milk, uh, uh, better to choose vegan milks like almond milk or coconut milk or oat milk or soya milk that way. It is good. Because Rather than cow milk. Yeah. So that is okay for, uh, while going to sleep? Yes. Okay, fine.
nice doctor thank you very much for your, we had a nice uh, interaction today uh, last but not the least uh, what is your uh, uh, caution and suggestion to our audience with respect to the insulin resistance so far you have explained completely i believe yeah but still if anything is left out <laughs> yeah so uh... to cure completely from insulin resistance and to prevent uh, diabetes you have to follow strictly for about 3 months all uh, healthy foods avoiding outside foods and all uh, it is always better to join any program like uh, lifestyle modification programs many are there in the world so you can nicely join the program uh, you will know so many things about food that is uh, one option you also give lifestyle modification program to your yeah i give for only pcos women not generally other all other okay okay yeah. but pcos women you give yes uh, lifestyle modification yeah yeah i will really, i have a program of 3 months okay uh, it is a pcos reversal and fertility fast track program okay yeah fine and regular physical activity every day you have to do some or the other exercises or yoga yoga is very good it is not only physically but mentally also it calms down your stress levels will reduce so doing surya namaskaras and various uh, yoga asanas is very good every day each and every day you have to do um then meditation we talked about meditation to reduce stress levels and sleep almost we covered uh, all aspects so if you follow this healthy lifestyle it is very good so 80 20% rule you can think 80% of the time you should uh, go healthy 20% of the time that's okay 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 in okay. Different situations yeah okay okay you yeah. should also enjoy the life also yeah yeah okay thank you very much doctor for giving a, a nice presentation on insulin resistance insulin sensitivity how to control how to manage and how to reverse it also by way of modifying the lifestyle food habits and implementation of good habits yes like good food timely food timely sleep and last but not the least implementation of one physical activity without fail regularly yes thank you thank you so much